everyone! So today we're going to do something kind of fun in collaboration with my friend Carolyn who has a blog called And Then They. The link to that is down below in the description. She is doing a 5 Days of Christmas DIY projects and giveaways and today I will be joining her and doing my own DIY project and giveaway and I will be showing all of you how to make these adorable and very easy framed Christmas countdown chalkboards. They're a super fun addition to your holiday decor and they're also really easy to make and I'm going to show you how in this step-by-step -step DIY video and if you stay tuned till the end of the video you will find out how you can enter to win one of these made by yours truly and I'll also tell you how you can enter to win all of the other giveaways that have been going on this week through Carolyn's blog. So let's get started on making these Christmas countdown chalkboards. First you'll need a cute frame from your local craft store with the glass and the backing removed. Next you'll need black melamine plywood from your local hardware store. I got these from Home Depot. And then you'll need to cut them into 8 by 10 sections. You'll also need a ruler, some chalk, or one of these really cool chalk pencils that I got at my local craft store, and then some oil-based paint pens. Okay, so to get started, You'll need your piece of black melamine chalkboard from Home Depot cut to an 8x10 so it'll fit in your frame. Then what I usually do is I take my straight edge and I find the middle and I just mark it real quick and just draw. A line so that you can kind of see where the middle of the chalkboard is. It's not very good, but you get the idea. I think I'm gonna write days until Christmas and then follow the design of the frame that I bought and make a little box where I can write the numbers in later. So real quick, I'm just gonna trace a couple lines to kind of follow when I write. And then the box will be somewhere right here in this general area. So now that I have kind of an idea where I want everything to be written, I always write and draw everything out in chalk first before I write it with pen. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so now that I have a general idea of how I want everything to be laid out, then I can go over it in pen and then add in any embellishments that I want. So usually I go over the chalk one time with the pen and then I do it one more time just to make any lines thicker that I wanted and make sure it's all filled in really nicely. Okay, so now I just need to take a wet rag and wipe off the chalk residue, and we're ready to add some details. Ta-da! Okay, so here's where you can get really creative, and you can use your reds and your greens, or even your silvers and your golds to add some fun little details to this. I think I'm just gonna keep it simple and add a few holly berries and leaves. Okay, and there you have it. Super cute, adorable, but easy decoration to add to your home during Christmas. And a really fun idea is to get the kids involved and have them add the number in each day when it changes. My kid's not home, so I'm gonna do it myself. Now all that's left is to put it in the frame. As you can see, it's a super easy project, but a lot of fun. And it's also a lot of fun to get your kids involved, writing the numbers and counting down with you every day. And as you can see, you can add little gold embellishments or silver, and you can put as much time into these as you want. Um, I did mine in 10 minutes, I think. So it's a super easy project for your own home, 
or if you're going to a holiday party and you want to give someone a gift obviously before Christmas um, unless you just want them to wait till next year to use it. It's a super cute handmade gift to give someone. And as you can see there are a couple different designs you can do as well. I also did this one which is the small writing and then you can draw a really big number down here. So I hope you enjoyed that DIY and if you're interested in winning one that I made all you have to do is answer a quick question in the comments below and tell me what your favorite tradition is to count down to Christmas whether it's an advent calendar or if you watch a Christmas movie every night leading up till Christmas Whatever you do, whatever your family tradition is, let me know in the comments below. Or if there's no countdown tradition, just let me know what your favorite family tradition is for Christmas in the comments below. You also need to follow the link in the description below to go to the And Then They blog, which will take you directly to today's post. And from there, she'll let you know what else you have to do to enter to win one of these. And you should also definitely check out all the other giveaways that she's been doing previously this week and enter to win those as well. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this DIY project. If you have any questions about anything, leave those in the comments below as well. Give this a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more DIYs. As always, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. Crazy.